So here is an, a diagram of, in a plant cell, or even in a cyanobacterial cell, how the Calvin Benson cycle fits into the metabolic pathways. Here is our Calvin Benson cycle. Glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate can leave and either participate in glycolysis or form hexose, a 6-carbon sugar phosphate. And these can combine to form polysaccharides for storage, or cellulose, or those uh, other polysaccharides. Um, other intermediates, uh, the ribulose monophosphates, those can exit the Calvin Benson cycle and they can form the sugar parts the, for uh, nucleotides, the ribose for nucleotides. 3 phosphoglycerate can also exit the Calvin cycle and be converted to pyruvate or glycerol. Pyruvate can be converted to acetyl CoA. Those carbons can, can then enter the citric acid cycle. Alpha ketoglutarate, an intermediate of the citric acid cycle, can exit and become uh, amino acids for protein synthesis. Acetyl CoA can also be converted to fatty acids, combining with glycerol to form lipids. So, what you see is that carbon coming into the Calvin Benson cycle can go all over the place in the cell, then can form all the carbon backbones for all three types of macromolecules, polysaccharides, nucleic acids, proteins, as well as the lipids for lipid bilayer membranes.